What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is a big day, a day that a lot of you have been waiting for. We are getting a baby dwarf Nigerian goat. So I went online, I saw a lot of comments saying, Nick, when are you getting a goat? Everyone wanted to see me get a goat because a lot of you guys know, like literally four years ago, we started off with these two little goats by Paul's house. Or not, like three years ago. They were Paul's neighbor's goats and I would go over to them every single day and I would like hang out with them and I'd feed them and stuff and they fell in love with them. And every time I would go over to, um, like the neighbors to see the goats they would run up to me and like jump up on the fence and these were really big goats And then I started putting on on Instagram everyone was calling me like Nick goat bingo I fell in love with goats and that was like my first time actually like liking goats I was like holy crap these things are things are dope a lot of people started saying to get one I didn't think at the time I was ready it when people were telling me to now that I have everything kind of figured out with the house I'm getting it. It's coming together. I think I am ready to get one So we're gonna be heading about two hours south of us and we're gonna be picking up our new baby goat This is gonna be insane. I know you guys have been waiting for so long. So let's go get them in half a mile Turn left onto south. All right, we are 10 minutes away from getting our new baby goat Hold on, bear with me, I'm driving. This is gonna be insane, I'm so happy. 10 minutes away, boys. All right, we just got here, now bear with me, I do have to put the mask on just because obviously of COVID and everything. I don't know this guy, so um, I'm gonna be meeting him the first time today and meeting the goat, and this is gonna be awesome. I know you guys have been literally waiting for this for so long, and I know I've been saying it for so long. Finally making it happen today, so let's head in. There he is right there, let's do it. Oh, uh, baby. All right, so right here we got it. What, vaccine and deworm? Vaccine and deworm. So we're learning a lot just from this little yeah. guy here. Okay, so. Dewormer? Um, okay, well, we got the baby goat. He is a little scared right now. I was carrying him and also talking to the guy about how to care for him. So I just wasn't filming much. I was really just listening. But um, yeah, I do want to get this guy home and make sure he's good. The guy, Chris, did inform me that he will be a little nervous for the first two days. And then after those first two days, he's going to be fully attached to me. That's pretty awesome to hear. But those first two days are going to be a little rough. He's a little scared. He is only two weeks old, just under two weeks. And he is a Nigerian dwarf goat for all you wondering. I forgot to mention that, but he is a Nigerian dwarf goat. He's supposed to only get up to about 30 to 40 pounds, not too big at all. So this is going to be an awesome experience. I cannot wait. I'm really excited. Look at him. He's so cute too. It's insane. He is so tiny. He has little blue eyes. Let me see. We, all right, we got to get a name for this guy, but look at his blue eyes. He's gonna get little horns and this is a male. So males actually are a lot, a lot more bonding than females. They, um, they love, yeah, they just like to bond more. I don't know what it is, but he said the males do like to bond more, so. We are back home. I got him a little bed that I picked up. I also picked up the shampoo to eventually, when he does get better, bigger, we will be cleaning him. A little bottle because he still is on milk and obviously doesn't have his mom around, so we are gonna be doing it. And um, yeah, he's only two weeks old, so. Still a little baby. Chris said after, right now he's a little scared. He's in the bathroom running around. I think what I'm gonna do is put his bed in the shower. It's a little wood. So it's like if he pees or poops, he goes right through the wood. Got this little setup for him right now. He is actually in the shower, like I said. It is wood bottom, so it's not gonna hurt him or anything. He's got his little bed. I'm gonna run to the store and pick up some more goat milk just because you can never have enough. And I'm gonna pick some more stuff up that Chris told me to get while I was there picking up this little guy. So he's had a long drive home. He's probably really, really scared. So we're gonna turn these lights off, let him sleep for a little. And once he gets comfortable, we'll pick the camera back up and start filming him. Cause he's gonna be a big part of this channel. A huge part of this channel. Okay, go down the loose, go down the loose. Watch this, he's gonna go right into the mirror. I put a little shirt on him, he's got a little camo. A little camo shirt. Look at him. Look at his blue eyes, so freaking cute, it's insane. He got his little shirt on, and he actually likes it. I, I think it makes him feel a little little more protected, almost like a little, like, someone's holding him, so. And ever since I put it on him, he's been running around, checking everything out, feeling a lot more better. So, I'm gonna leave it on him. <laughs> but look at this, he's doing good. This is a little update. Also, I'm gonna leave him right there. He's doing good, but I did set up. Temporary little pen, I got a little bed in there. He is bottle feeding, so we do not have water or food dishes. Yeah, so that is his little pen, but he's mostly out running through. And he will be going outside sometimes during the day, but that's with the pen. You put the pen out there, and then he'll be able to just like hang out and play. So yeah, day one, little baby goat is doing good. Little baby's first night in 
his crate. We're gonna see how he does. He's doing pretty good. He got him wrapped up in the blanket in his bed. And yeah, I think I might name him Little Baby. It is the next morning and the baby had kind of a long night. He was crying a little, but he did get used to it. I moved him into my bathroom just so he could be a little closer to me and I could hear him when he does cry so I can come over. Usually he cries when he's hungry or something. So I'll feed him and then I'll give him his bottle and then he usually just goes back to sleep, which he did. So he was a good little goat the first night. Gotta remember, he is getting used to it. This is his first night without his mom and everything. So he is a little scared, but he's gonna get used to us. Chris said that these things will literally catch a bond with you like better than a dog. So you just gotta give it some time, spend some time, get used to him, let him get used to us. And then he should be good to go and be really comfortable with us. But anyways, oh yeah, I put this little seal in here for him too, just so he you know, feels safe. Feels like he has a friend. I did want to film picking him up and everything just because I knew like you guys had to see this. You guys have been literally waiting for it for so long. I, I wanted to film that. He's gonna be a huge part of the channel. I'm telling you that right now. He's gonna be coming, doing fish traps with us, coming diving with us, just hanging out on the beach and so while we're diving, he's gonna be coming. So make sure you guys comment down some names for our goat. It, that, these names have to be insane. I want. I don't want some ordinary name. I need some, some exotic names. So comment down some names down below. Let me know what you guys think. It could be an ordinary your name we'll see just comment down below i'm gonna be going through all the comments because i really really want you guys to help me with this one but with that being said got our new little baby goat he is so cute it's insane he's got little blue eyes little black on his ear and then little black feet come here buddy he is a baby i love him hope you all enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up for this little guy definitely looking forward to having this guy as a little pet and apparently they're not supposed to get that big only about 30 pounds so we'll see obviously if he does get huge huge or if we can no longer like take care of him just because this is a new animal to me gotta get used to it gotta learn how to take care of him gotta make sure he's doing good it's a farm animal and he's gonna be living at kind of a house i do have a pretty big backyard which he will be going to once he is bigger but you know we always do have a great friend of ours paul that we can rely off of for any advice because he has about five goats and a whole farm and this is paul's farm he's got a bunch of goats a bunch of pigs and even a bunch of ducks but mainly we're here for the goats because i'm going to kind of tell you why and how i got that idea of getting a pet goat paul had like babies born on his property he got two a male and a female and they had babies and when i saw the baby goats i was like this is literally the cutest thing ever there's one right up there that's one of the babies that the mom and dad goat had and then there's boots so they had three babies they had that one there's another one in that hide over there and then there's another one in the garage yeah that is exactly the reason i wanted one this thing oh and then there's one right there some of them get horns some of them don't ours has a little baby horn so hopefully they grow in to be like that that would be yeah, sick yeah. you think yeah because ostrich is like that too really or they'll just be little stubs really like not as big but that one's growing what's, so what's that that's a, a alpaca alpaca yeah all right let's get back to the baby goat so that's good news but like i said but with that being said guys we got a new goat and we'll see you in the next one see you